Hey everybody, it's RWS Doug here, back for another episode of Minecraft. However, this time we are not in our single player world and we are not on the Pangea Minecraft server. I figured since I told you guys there wouldn't be multiplayer videos coming from the Pangea server for a while until the map gets rebooted, I decided I'd start a new series up and uh, I'm just going to take my inventory and I decided to start some adventure maps. So the first adventure map I found that was pretty popular is called Temple of Doom. Version 1.2 and that's a very uh, very anticlimactic opening just Temple of Doom version 1.2 extended temple edition hopefully it gets better though uh, I've been told or not been told but I read that this is a pretty awesome map and is the work of about 200 hours of design and everything um, it's also one of the best ones I could find that was for Minecraft 1.7.4 um, and so I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope this map is good it's supposed to be two to three hours worth of gameplay so that will be between four to six videos but anyways let's go ahead and jump into this so let's see uh, please take a moment to read these signs the backstory for the map can be found here well let's go ahead and read that first it begins ah this is the life you've been living the high life since you became unimaginably rich after finding the treasure in the sands of doom see sands of doom map well I didn't do it you know we're just gonna keep going anyway now you are on a cruise ship with your friends and mentor oh, okay I would never have guessed that this was a cruise ship uh, with an friend and mentor legendary adventurer Indiana Cuban Oh, I guess like Indiana Jones. All right. Uh, you have just come from the pool and you are on your way down. Take to your room. To take a nap. Little do you know, but your vacation is about to get a lot more exciting. There, there needs a space right there, man. Space. All right. Let's put that back in there. Multiplayer. Push this button now. No rules. Rules. Rule number one, play on survival mode. I am. You, you are may break. Okay, uh, take that R. All right, so you may break, place blocks and craft for any reason at any time. Do not play on peaceful. Well, I am not because I am playing on hard mode like I always do. All right, so uh, rule number four, so. Solitary chests contain blocks with important plot information. Read them. Oh, books, not blocks. Sorry. Uh, rule number five. Do not use cheats or mods uh, unless you want to cheat. Um, well, I don't. Uh, let's see. You can break blocks, place blocks, and craft at any time. This is important. You already said that. But okay. Uh, finally, rule number seven, make your own checkpoint save points with the numerous beds throughout the map. One checkpoint will be provided before the temple for your convenience. All right, well, I know there's going to be a temple, uh, some sort of temple on here. Uh, good luck. To start your adventure, go to your cabin. You can break blocks and craft at will. Okay, find cabin. Uh, okay, uh, let's look at this. Hmm, smell that salty air. Let's go around and take a look at stuff. This is so relaxing. If I were to go down there, I don't think I could get back up. Okay, so let's see. When you're facing the bow, front of the cruise ship, your room is all the way forward on the right side and on the second lowest deck the lowest deck has the engine room to get to your cabin go through one of the doors behind you then go down the stairs then go down the long hallway with couches and stuff 
until you reach the back of the ship. Then turn to your right and walk up the side of the ship. You will see lots of rooms. Keep going until you see the sign that says stairs. Take the stairs down. Now walk directly across the hall and go down another flight of stairs. Now make a quick turn to the right and walk down the hallway. Your room will be marked by a sign. Wow, that was complicated, eh? The ship better not sink. You might get lost down there. Uh, okay. Well, I'm going to bring this with me. I got a bottle of water and some bread, which I don't need right now. Stairs down. Um, okay, that way. I'm going to go explore all these rooms. What is that here? Just balcony, chest, nothing in it. Uh, once again, another balcony, nothing out here. Chest, nothing in it. Oh my god, the, this is a pretty long hallway. Alright, I'm going to stop checking balconies. That'll take a while. I'm just going to get in some chests. Nope, nothing, nothing. There's water above me. I can see that leaking through the roof. That's a pretty odd. I'm assuming these just turn off the lights, yeah. Nope. 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 I really hope there's something in at least one of these chests and I'm not just wasting both of our times and uh, this isn't super boring. But I just feel like if I was to make an adventure map that I would definitely put something in one of these random chests probably all the way down at the very end of the hall just so someone would walk all the way down here in order to find absolutely nothing uh... oh okay nothing over there nothing over there this is interesting i want to explore everything these little boats. Hope I don't fall off. Uh, the map does have cheats enabled on it. So if I were to fall off or something like that, I could just fly myself back up here. Oh, look, there's water there. I guess like in a, a water slide in a pool and stuff, I guess that's why there was water particles coming through the ceiling. That makes sense. I am on a cruise ship. This is a pretty big ship, which it is a cruise ship, so I guess that makes sense uh, up here. Don't know if you guys have ever been on a cruise, but they're pretty fun. Uh, I've been on one, and it was pretty awesome. Uh, if at all possible, I totally recommend that you guys go on one. Let's see. We'll climb up this, check and see if there's, a, if there's anything up here. Nope, just lights that I could flip on and off if I felt like it. And it doesn't look like there's any chests around here. I'm just going to run through and check. Woo, water slide! Oh, there's a sign. Warning, no lifeguard on duty. Ha ha. Bridge crew only. Screw you. I'm totally part of the crew. Nothing. Nothing. Bunch of stuff. Nothing. Captain's cabin. Oh, a chest and a map. Okay, we'll look at that in a second. A uh, redstone lamp, lever, and a map. Scaling at 1 to 8. Oh, I think I just fucked up. I think I just duplicated that one map. Oops. Cruise quarters don't use the upper beds. Uh, nothing. Nothing, nothing. 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 Uh, okay. It's just the other side of this. 
Is this the room I was just in? Yeah, I think so. Well, crap. I think I just screwed up a map. Um, let's look at this map. Scaling 1 to 8. Uh, I'm pretty far away from that. Um, okay. And it's just a chest. I don't know what, why I would th think. Oh, let me just open it. Uh, let's see if this map is messed up. Same exact map. Yep. Alright, anyway. Technically, I'm not supposed to be back here. It does say crew only. Let's go up these stairs. Uh, nothing. Just like a balcony. It says I can break anything, technically. So I could break all of this stuff. And just bring like a ton of stuff with me. Like a bunch of wool and everything for building blocks. But I'm not going to do that. Um, I know at some point I'll probably have to break things. Just because it's like part of the story. Like the way the map was designed and stuff. But unless I have to, I'm going to try not to. So, I guess stairs down is where I need to go. Nothing down there. And I'm supposed to walk straight across the hall and find uh, other stairs. I'm not going to bother doing all that. Okay. Stairs up. Okay, right here. Walk past all the couches and stuff. I'm glad there are signs to direct my path because that book was very confusing. Let's see. We'll run down here. I'm probably going to eat some bread soon. I'm glad he gave some to me. I guess he figured you would probably want to take a look around. I like how that sign told me to go that way. Well, I'm going to go this way. Nope, nothing in that chest. Look at those islands out there and stuff. Okay, so I want to go this way. And then come down. And said my room will be marked with a sign. Just eat two pieces of bread and so we can sprint. Ah, oh, here's a sign. Sign. Oh, with stairs down? Stairs up. Some more stairs down. Okay. There's a lot of stairs down. Okay, this way. Oh, there's a sign. Sign at the end. This will take forever to look everywhere. In here. Woohoo! My room! Turn off the lights. First, cookie. Milk. Relax. Turn off the lights and relax. Don't sleep in the bed. Don't sleep in the bed after you hit the light switch, though. Um, okay. Well, how about this? I'm going to sleep in the bed first. Before I turn the lights off. Set my spawn in case something happens. I'm going to eat this cookie. And drink this milk. And then turn off the lights. Oh look, it makes it night time. That's pretty cool. Let's go. Oh man! Flood! Look at that. The water level rose. Water came in through the door. Read the book in your chest. Oh wow, there's a ton of freaking stuff in here. Okay. Uh, breads. Raw. Okay, let's organize this better. Okay, so books, maps that I accidentally duplicated, a chest, two levers, iron ingots, an apple, raw chicken, another chest. Okay, um, so iron sword, foods, coals, clocks, emerald, diamond, water bottle. And then we are sinking. How did I get all this stuff in here? You wake up suddenly and it's dark and stormy. Wake up! Yells Indiana. 
The ship is sinking. We have to get out of here. That sounds plausible, you think, noticing the water in your room. Hurriedly, you grab your gear and follow Indiana. Objective, go to the top deck, find a lifeboat. I can do that. I know where everything is. Oh man. Lights are off and stuff. It's a little spooky. There's all like stone pillars outside and stuff. Oh wow. Oh yeah, I guess if we're sinking, something must have happened. The ship must have crashed. Hit a bunch of rocks and stuff. Alright, well I need to get up. I wonder if I could... I was going to try and like jump into a bed from underneath it and like speed run strats myself up there. But I guess not. So we will just climb these stairs. Uh, stairs up again. That's what I want. I need upstairs, not downstairs. Oh, look at all the lifeboats going away. Aha! Emerald! Suck it! Okay. Parkour! Oh, Emerald. And just two regular books. Okay. I wonder if there's going to be stuff in all these chests. Oh! Music disc, bowls, two more books. Is there going to be stuff in all these chests now? A bowl, more bowls, another clock, another book. I mean, this could come in handy if I'm going to, like, run across an enchanting table and, like, a ton of levels. I could enchant something pretty awesome. A diamond, two more breads, five books, three more books of flint and a steel, and two more pieces of bread. I'm finding stuff out the ass. Okay, uh, stairs up. Not going to bother searching everything else. Don't want this to get too easy, do I? Actually, I'm going to check this chest. Oh my god, more bowls, more books, another clock. What if I found something really awesome, like a freaking ender pearl? Okay, finding an ender pearl in a chest means I have to keep looking. Jeez, look at all these books and bread. This stuff wasn't here before we crashed. What happened? Oh my god, this person has a ton of books. Okay. Ah, a bed. Okay, that'll be very useful. I guess I could have just broken one before, but didn't want to do that. More books. Almost have a full stack. I'm at 42 books. Another clock. Another lever. That could be useful. Also, some more books up to 48. That's like three quarters of a stack. Check in here. Emerald, two more. Bam! So much stuff. So much stuff. Okay. Uh, let's find a way to the top deck now. Bam! Parkour, parkour! Alright, water slide. Warning, no lifeguard on duty. I know that. Okay, lifeboat, bam, okay, we will take this out, this is where our new, where our book slot's gonna be, abandoned ship, you and Indiana have made it to the top deck, but the lifeboats are gone, what, no there's not, there's one right there, that's what happens when you trade, when you travel third class, Indiana mutters. Well, we wouldn't have had to if you hadn't donated all the treasure to the museum like you insisted, you point out. And what about this life boat? 
Is it out of order? It is out of order. See the sign? Let's just swim for it. The water isn't cold here in the tropics. Before you can protest, Indiana leaps over, over the side of the ship. Watch out for the rocks! He yells back. Objective. Follow the lifeboats to find the land. Um... What? It isn't like this ship is actually going to sink. <laughs> uh, alright! Oh, what is in here? Nothing. Alright, uh, well... I guess I'm jumping down here. Oh, wow. Those rocks were pretty close. We gotta be pretty close to... What level are we at? Oh, we're at like 60-something. This is just raised up a lot. Well, this is going to take a while. Um, well, I mean, we can see the land there. Uh, I'm going to check out these lifeboats as we're going by. Oh, look at that. That's pretty nice. Let's take a screenshot. All right. Anyway, um, until, however, uh, I don't want you guys to have to sit here and watch me search these lifeboats and swim over to that land. So, when I get back, unless I find something awesome in these lifeboats, next episode I'll be on the land or just getting to it. So, until next time, hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are liking this adventure map. It seems pretty interesting so far. I feel like it could have a really good storyline to it, and I'm hoping it does. So, until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys later.